Hi, Gene Montresor, the editor of TappingQA.com. Welcome to day 12 of our 30 day tapping challenge. If you are new to the tapping challenge and you'd like to receive some notifications each time a new video goes live all month long, all you need to do is go to TappingQA.com slash 30 hyphen day, enter your email address. I'll send you an email every single morning. TappingQA.com slash 30 hyphen day will let you know when a new video goes live every single day. So, Today, what we're going to do is we're going to do a little tapping for the fear of failure. Tap on the side of the hand for me. Take a nice big deep breath. This is one of the strongest fears that we face. And so it's really good that we spend a little time tuning into that. So I just want you to think about what you got in tap for today. I'm sure there's something that is overwhelming or concerning for you. Take a nice big deep breath. I want you to imagine struggling at it. What we're going to do is we're going to tap, just move from tapping point to tapping point in the order that makes the most sense for you. And to feel so comfortable and safe, I'd encourage you to repeat the phrases out loud after me. I recognize the fact. There is a part of me that would like to move forward. There is a part of me They would like to take action. There is a part of me that would like to move forward today. But I recognize the fact every single time I go to take an action, I have the opportunity to fail at that action. And on a subconscious level, there are few things scarier than failure. And because that is the case, My subconscious mind resists action, especially actions that are hard, especially actions that are new, especially actions that have the high possibility of failure. And I appreciate the fact that there is a part of me that wants me to be safe, that wants me to be healthy, that wants me not to have to confront and deal with failure. But at the exact same time, I recognize the fact not taking action and staying stuck is actually failure. I recognize the fact that it is possible for me to survive failure. It's even possible for me to thrive through failure. I give myself permission to know every single time I take action, failure is a possibility, but that does not mean it has to be catastrophic. That does not mean 
It is the end of the world. Some of the best things in my life have actually grown out of failure. And recognizing all of this does not mean that all of a sudden I'm going to be thoughtless or reckless or careless. It is possible for me to regard the possibility of failure in a proportionate way and still move forward and still take action and still create. I give myself permission, even in the face of failure, to trust myself today. Nice big deep breath, big stretch. Oh, boy, is failure scary. None of us like to fail. None of us like to fail privately, publicly, in front of ourselves, in front of anyone else. But also, we need to take action and we need to face the fact that it's always a possibility that things aren't going to go as planned. And again, it doesn't mean that we're reckless or careless and just go rushing out there without thought, but it's important for us to engage with this in a deliberate way. So I hope that is helpful for you. If you're tuning into taking action, you're still feeling that filler failure, go back to the beginning, tap along to this again, because it'll be easier for you to take action when you're not gripped by that sense of failure. Now that you've finished your tapping for today, there's three things you can do. Mark your tracking sheet, comment down below on what you learned, invite a friend to tap. And as you look at the screen right now, you will also see the playlist of every single tap along audio on the website. If you need to do some more tapping, click the list and tap along. If not, I will see you tomorrow in the challenge.